Wendell Lee Well Services coming back at you, YouTube. Thanks again for tuning in. Got a topic we're going to go over here today. Uh, kind of a two-part video all in one. Going to be doing a little bit of explaining. Then we're going to get you over here to the other side of the shop. Got a little laboratory set up for you here. Got a little mock lab. We're going to show you a, a test of what we're getting ready to do, and that's how to run a well pump off of a generator. How to wire it in, how to do it. All right, so here we go. So we get this question asked a lot, whether it's people that are way out in the woods and don't have access to power yet, or people that just simply don't have any plans to have access to power. What can I do? Can I run a well pump off of a generator? Yes, you can run a well pump off of a generator. You can run a well pump off of solar. I'm actually surprised at the amount of people that didn't really know that was a possibility. Um, they kind of seem shocked when I bring that up to them of, oh, I didn't think about it. you can run it up to a generator. Yes, it's just like any other electrical appliance. You got a big enough generator, it'll run it. All right, so here we go. So what we got here is we got our typical plug, 30 amp, 230 volt plug here. You can go buy at Lowe's or Home Depot or any electrical store. Um, you know, most of the well pumps that we put in are half horsepower and above, so they're 230 volts. All right, so this is a typical plug that goes into a, a 30 amp, 230 volt circuit on a generator. For video editing, editing purposes, I'm not gonna show me wiring it in there and you know loosening up the screws and putting the wires in there, but all you need to know is, is this silver prone is the neutral. So obviously a well pump doesn't have a neutral. It's got two hot legs and a ground. So this silver prone here is the neutral. I'm going to be tying into these two legs here on the side. This is one 115 volt leg. The other side is another 115 volt leg coming from your breaker. This bottom leg with the little, hopefully my cameraman gets zooms into that, but I turned it over with the little L shaped hook on it. That's the ground. That's where my ground's going to be hooking into. And, you know, most larger generators have a 30 amp plug, 230 volts. I know some of them have a 20 amp uh, plug, 30 volt, 30 amp plug. Most of them have a 30 amp, but some of them have a 20 amp. Um, same concept still applies, though. It's just a little bit different shaped plug. So I'm, I'm only wiring into, I don't need a neutral here to run a well pump. So I'm only wiring into the two hot leg portions of the switch and then the ground. All right, so this is what we're going to be using. One other point I'm going to bring up to you before all the haters get out there and say, Grant, this isn't my typical setup. You didn't wire into a tank. Where's the pressure tank at? I don't see a pressure tank. Okay, you're correct. In this setup, I'm not wiring into a pressure tank. I'm just envisioning that the pressure tank is already installed in your house and the wire that I'm going to hook into the pump is coming from your pressure tank to the breaker. That would be the same wire. So you've already got a wire ran in from the tank to the well pump and then coming off the pressure switch at the tank would be this same wire but instead of running it to your power source you're wiring it to the generator with this plug that we're getting ready to show you. All right, it's part two. Here's the laboratory. We rotated the camera 90 degrees. So what we got here is we got our generator. Uh, just a regular old generator. You see it's got different outlets in here, different plugs, standard of a generator. This is the plug right here that we'll be hooking into, 30 amp plug. This guy right here, you can see I've already got it wired up. Uh, I had a spare piece of wire. It's coming back over here. Got a tank full of water. Got us an old pump in here. It's still good. Um, got a little makeshift pipe here set up. We're going to, if I can get this thing to stay. Got it wired into my wire here, coming to my plug. The only difference is, is if you got your well tank here, this wire coming from the pump is going to go to your tank where your switch is. Then coming off of the switch would be this gray wire that hooks into your plug. Now that it took me forever to get this set up, I'm going to go over here and raise the garage door so the exhaust fumes don't kill me. We're going to show you all how to do it.
success. Then when you're done, just pull it out. When you bring your generator back, easy as this. I like it. Hope you do. So that's about all for today, folks. Yep, that's how easy it is. One little plug and you just wire it up your generator whenever you choose. So thanks for watching. Be sure to, should have brought this up earlier, smash that thumbs up button, help us out on the YouTube algorithm. We'd greatly appreciate that. And stay tuned for more videos coming up in the future. Thanks for watching.